Henry Thompson, and I'm a web content specialist at the National Museum of African American History and Culture, and we've got a treat for you today. My nephew Tyrese, my daughter Jay, and myself are going to show you how to prepare the absolute perfect brisket for your Juneteenth celebration. Now, before we get started, we're going to make a barbecue dry rub and a peach and jalapeno chutney. All of these recipes are available in the Sweet Home Cafe cookbook, which is available for purchase on the page below. All right, now for the chutney. So what you'll need is six ripe peaches, or you can substitute for canned peaches, which is what we did, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, a cup of Vidalia or sweet onions diced, one jalapeno pepper seeded and minced, fresh ginger, peeled and grated, a cup of honey, two tablespoons of packed light brown sugar, two tablespoons of sherry vinegar, fresh cilantro leaves chopped, one pinch of kosher salt, and freshly ground pepper. While the onion is cooking, cut the peaches into two inch chunks. Make sure you preserve the charred bits. When the onion's ready, add the jalapeno and ginger and cook for about one minute longer. Add the honey and brown sugar and increase the heat to high and bring it to a boil. Stir in the vinegar, reduce the heat to medium and simmer for one minute. Add the peaches and cook for about five minutes. Remove from high heat, transfer the peaches and syrup to a bowl and let them cool to about room temperature. Once they cool, add the cilantro, season with the salt and pepper. You store the chutney in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to five days. It's Jade and here's how you make the barbecue dry rub. First, you will need one cup of Hungarian paprika, one cup of ground black pepper, one cup of turbinado sugar, one cup of kosher salt, one cup of dry English mustard, one cup of onion powder, one cup of garlic powder, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Warm a non-stick skillet over low heat. Add the paprika and lightly toast to develop its full flavor. Actively stir the paprika for three minutes, making sure not to allow the spice to burn. Transfer the paprika to a medium bowl and let cool. When the paprika has cooled to room temperature, whisk in all the remaining ingredients until well mixed. Transfer to an airtight container. The dry rub will last for up to three months. All right, and here's Tyrese to show you how to make that brisket. The night before, be sure to season the brisket on all sides with the dry rub. Make sure to add the rub to all sides of the brisket and then place the brisket on a wire rack in the refrigerator to marinate for 12 hours. Next, take your hickory wood chunks and soak them in water and leave them soaking overnight. The morning of your cook, you're going to want to remove your brisket from the fridge to allow it to come to room temperature. Next, drain any excess water from your wood chunks, place on a cookie chute, and allow them to dry. Next, you're going to want to fire up your smoker. We avoided using lighter fluid, and instead we used a chimney and a propane torch to avoid any excess chemicals flavors on the meat. Once your charcoals are lit, allow the grill to come to temp. We cooked at around 250 degrees, but we had a smaller brisket, so you're going to want to give yourself time usually around one hour per pound to cook your brisket. Make sure you're monitoring the temp and the fire on your grill. You don't want to get it too hot to dry out your brisket and you don't want to get it too cold to stall your cook. Add wood chips or charcoal as needed. You're going to want to have a digital thermometer handy during the cook. Check your brisket every two to three hours and once the temp hits around 160 to 170, you want to remove your brisket and wrap it in foil to avoid drying the brisket out. After you've wrapped your brisket in foil, place it back on the smoker until it's done temp of around 205 degrees. Once your brisket reaches 205 degrees, remove it from the smoker and place on a cutting board still wrapped in foil and allow it to rest. Once your brisket has rested for 45 minutes to an hour, thinly slice the brisket across the grain and generously portion the meat onto the buns. Add your charred peach chutney and enjoy. All right, we want to thank everybody for joining us for our brisket cooking demonstration today. 
and on behalf of my family and all of the staff at the National Museum of African American History and Culture, we just want to say, Happy, Happy Juneteenth! Juneteenth. <laughs>